CDR 3D Plugin Version Tutorial How to Open the Jufu Panel in Corel Draw After opening CDR, click on the Window button in the top row. Find CDR 3D and click on it. The CDR 3D Operation Panel will be displayed in the right sidebar of CDR. Basic Operations of a 3D Plugin Modeling First, we draw several rectangles in CDR. Then, we select all the rectangles and click the one-click 3D button. Now, the 2D plane drawings in CDR are transformed into 3D renderings. Let's start by introducing some operations in the 3D window. Hold the left mouse button and move the mouse to rotate the view. Scroll the middle mouse button to zoom in or out of the view. Hold the right mouse button and drag the mouse to pan the view. Remember these three operations. Next, we will discuss the two core parameters of CDR 3D, which are the thickness and offset on the CDR 3D panel. Let's demonstrate it. In CDR, select an object. Adjust its thickness to 60. The thickness of the object in the 3D window will be updated in real time. Select the object and enter its thickness value in the CDR 3D panel. This is how you adjust the thickness. Now, let's talk about the offset. The back faces of these objects are all on the same plane. Similarly, we first select an object. Then, we enter the value for the offset. The object will be offset forward. Let's continue by selecting an object. Enter a negative value for the offset. The object will move backward. Positive offset value moves the object forward, while negative value moves it backward. When we change the color of an object in Corel Draw, the color of the object in the 3D preview window also changes in real time. Let's draw another rectangle and then perform a trim operation with the rectangle behind it. Select all the objects, click on the one-click 3D button. We have created a window effect. We can also edit the objects individually, select them, and click on the one-click 3D button. The resulting effect will vary depending on the selected area. The 3D effect will be generated for the objects we have selected. Finally, let's add that we can select multiple objects together and modify their thickness and offset simultaneously. Materials and Textures Select an object, then click on the material sphere. The corresponding object in the 3D view will change its material. We can also adjust the size of the material texture here. We can also try clicking on other materials. Let's change the material of this blue object to a different one. Click on the material sphere, select the material with a blue color tint. We just need to change the color of this object to white. All right, let's talk about how to apply textures. We will start by placing a bitmap image in a CDR file. Right click and hold the mouse button, drag the bitmap image over the object, then release the mouse button. Click on Power Clip inside to apply the Power Clip. Finally, select all the objects by dragging a selection box around them. Click on One Click 3D and the texture effect will be applied. When there is a large amount of text, we can also treat these long paragraphs of text as textures. Simply place the text inside the graphic and it will be applied as a texture. The advantage of doing this is that using large blocks of text as textures reduces the computer's resource usage and makes the process smoother. One-click conversion of CDR files to 3D renderings.